Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Yoon, and welcome to Toraware no Shoujo, The Blue Bird of Happiness. An RPG Maker horror game about a sickly young girl who's not allowed to leave her house. The Bluebird Princess and the Rat Boy. Once upon a time, there was a pretty princess with tiny blue wings and bright blue eyes. The princess was always dressed in blue and lived in a fancy castle of all the comforts, eating the finest food and reading the rarest books. But the princess couldn't leave the castle. Even with all the wonders she had, she couldn't dare to leave the palace and explore the outside world. The reason was, the princess had very fra frail wings and couldn't fly. Her father, the wise king, used to spoil her and always warned his little birdie that the outside world would be extremely dangerous for her little thing such as anime. So she spent her days in a sort of golden cage. A beautiful but lonely life indeed. One day, a strange noise woke up the princess. Out of curiosity, she looked for the source, and then inside the kitchen. She found a boy of her age, sneaking out some food. Who are you? she asked, scared in front of the stranger. The kid was dressed in strange green clothes and he had a long rat tail and big rat ears. You, you're tempting me to give you some kind of cliché rat accent with a Mickey Mouse or some other kind of, like, gangster mouse from a Disney movie. But we won't. We won't. We'll, we'll, we'll hold ourselves back. Me. I'm Bosco. An errand thief, an adventurer. I was looking for some food, but there's so much in here that I thought no one would have noticed if I take a bit of it. The rat boy wasn't scared at all, and looked at the girl of curiosity. Even the princess wasn't scared anymore. Even if the boy was a thief, she felt thrilled by the encounter. And you, who are you? asked Bosco, but immediately after. Some steps start echoing in the hallways. You can't stay here. My father will find and imprison you. Follow me, whispered the princess, running away followed by the rat boy. Why are you helping me? asked a young thief to the princess. Because you were the first person from the outside I ever met. I want to know more. If I save you, promise me you'll tell me about your adventurers. Bosco waves with his tail, with a big smile on his face. Of course, my lady, as you wish. But again, can I know your name? Makes you think of like, the princess bride. Like, as you wish. Farm boy. As you wish. They were almost safe in the princess's room, and the girl said a last whisper before opening the door. My name is... I. I see. My birdie, you should be in bed. What are you doing, still up? Daddy. I was working on my fairy tale. Is it that late? It's past bedtime. You should enforce yourself. You know that you need a lot of rest. Yes, but today I feel good, pretty good. Maybe I'm healing. Yes, it would be amazing. Daddy, if I feel well even tomorrow, can I go outside a bit? We'll see, my birdie. Did you take your meds? Yes. A good girl. Come on. Lights off. Daddy has to work at the hospital tonight. But when you wake up, I'll be here again. Uh. Do I really need to go, Daddy? It will rain soon. And what if it thunders? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thunder and lightning can't hurt you here. I promise. You know Daddy never lies. That's true. Be brave, sweetie. I'll make pancakes for you tomorrow morning. Eh? eh? Really? I'll be brave, super brave. Bye bye, Daddy. I love you. Me too. Good night, I. Sleep tight. By the way, your friend Aya is coming over for a play date. I'm good friends with her father, you see. You know, Aya Drevis. They live in that one castle 
with all that sciency stuff. Good man, that father. We seem to have a lot in common. Actually, I'm not that much sleepy. I think I'll review my fairy tale one more time. This UI is kind of freaking me out. It's just a book. My bluebird princess dress. It looked. It took a lot to create it. it. Took a lot, I'm assuming. But it's exactly as I imagined it. Put on the dress? Yeah, sure. I feel like a real princess with this on. I can imagine a fancy ballroom with a lot of people. It'll be super interesting for sure. Maybe Bosco will wear a suit for once, a morning dress. He will look like a real gentleman and of course he'll ask me to dance. <laughs> I think I'm fantasizing too much. Better change it back. Drawings from my fairy tale. I'm almost out of crayons. I need to ask Daddy to buy a new set soon. My handwritten book. A title on the cover spells. The Bluebird Princess and the Rap Boy. This is the first time I write, write down... I write down a story by myself? Wrote? Down? I don't even know if it's good for real. If you need an opinion, can I have a peek? What's up? Bosco the Amazing is here. Bosco, don't be so noisy. What if Daddy hears you? He's probably already left by now. Don't worry. You're not sure, and I should be in bed by now. Please be quiet. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, lady! I, I mean, so, so can I read? Well, okay, I guess. But it's not finished yet. Oh, I, I don't mind at all. So, let me see! I mean, oh, uh, uh, well, this is awesome. Those pictures, too. And that's me. I'm in your story. <laughs> of course, your adventures are so interesting. It would be a shame to not insert you in a fairy tale. So if you become famous, I'll have a percentage, right? Mm -hmm. An imaginary friend doesn't need a percentage on real money. Oh, ouch. Oof. Why did I just deny your existence? Who told you I'm imaginary? Daddy, of course. He told me he hears us talking sometimes, but he never saw you, so... It's because I'm extremely sneaky, you know. No one ever caught me. Or so you were telling me I'm damn that bad at hiding. Mm. No. You think I'm imaginary? No, I've even touched you. Well, that's just everything up then, my lady. Anyway. Tonight is the night, right? Well, I'm not so sure right now. Ah, oh, come on, your dad will never know. And you're not doing anything wrong. Just a little bit of night wandering. It'll be fun. And if anything strange happens, I'll protect you. Well, you know how to be convincing for sure. I'm the best. Okay, as you wish. A little sneaky adventure will be good. I'm 12 already. I'm not a little kid anymore, and so... Maybe it'll give me some ideas to complete my fairy tale. You don't know how to end it. Mm. Not yet. Actually, the ending is quite obvious. But I don't really like it. Think about it. He's an adventurer, so he can't remain forever. And the princess can't leave. So, you want to separate them? I don't want to, but I have no choice. She's a bluebird princess that can't fly. She can't follow him, and she'll be in danger outside. But Bosco is the best thief and adventure in the world. You can protect her just fine. Yeah, but what about the wise king? If the princesses leave, you'll be heartbroken. And only the king's cure can make her feel better anyway. Are we still talking about the tale? Uh, of course. Uh, you're making me mad. Wondering the house with you is out of the question now. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, okay? Forgive me. I don't want to put pressure on you. I can't stay mad at you for too long, you know. Thank you. Come on, Princess I. Your dad has left for now. For sure now. Let's explore your castle. A vase of fresh roses. A wardrobe full of frilly clothes. Lots of fairy tales. This is a giant bathroom. Oh my god. 
Look how long it is. It's like it's like like a little mini bedroom in itself. Don't need to use it now. This too late for a bath now. A picture of me, mommy, and Danny. Mommy, I'm being a good kid. Are you happy there in heaven? Are you ready for some magic? That's one of my hairpins. And a pretty nice one, my lady. Here, just a moment. There we go. It's open. <laughs> Amazing, how did you do it? A thief never reveals his secrets. Please, after you. Fake plant with lots of little blue flowers. Fake like our life. A tapestry finally decorated. Hmm. Oh my god, this house is so big. Oh my god. It's such an open floor plan. Holy crap. How much of this cost in the modern economy? Lots of pictures of I and a big one of her and Jugo. The fridge is so big I could fit in it. Too bad that I'll catch a flu if I do it. Hmm. How lucky it's open. But it's raining already. I can't leave without my raincoat. Are these side rooms? Why are there so many side rooms? What is this, a hotel? And this is a lot of time ago. It says, Daddy's room. Maybe I should draw a new one for this next birthday. It's pretty old now. An umbrella stand. My raincoat. I can't go outside when it's cold, but sometimes I can water the plant with it if the rain is not very strong. We look like... We look like Saber from Face the Night when she puts on the raincoat to cover her giant armor and she just looks like... Like a McDonald's mascot... Blob. Don't really want to go in the swing now. This is my favorite spot. I like to read my books here. Not with rain, though. <laughs> right. Wandering around. Again, it was that cat. Meow. Meow. A kitty. It's so cute. Here, kitty, kitty, Neko. No, wait, I just want to pet you, please. That's what they all say, lady. I'm a cat. Everybody wants to pet me. But did they ever ask if I wanted to be pet? No. They don't even offer me any fish or anything to eat first. Please, come out, please. Oh, this bush is so thick. Wait, what's this? It's not a root. Paper? Torn out papers? This is very strange. Maybe it's a treasure map. Let's see. Luckily, it's finally working with me. I found one that, for the first time, makes me feel safe. I've, I'm glad I've left with that downpour. Hmm. It's boring today. Wrong time to forget. Wrong time to forget? I guess it's forget. Wrong time to forget that documents inside the car. Come on. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Are you alright, miss? Do you need help? Is that her mom? It's dangerous there. The cars don't use this often. Don't use often this road. But they won't see you with this heavy rain. Please come here. For God's sake, you're drenched, miss. Your car had an accident somewhere. Are you hurt somewhere? My umbrella broke a while ago. Cold. You're freezing. Please come inside. I'm a doctor. I can help you. We'll call an ambulance. No. Please, don't tell anyone you saw me. I won't bother you, I promise. 
Just forget you ever saw me. Wait. I swear I won't contact anyone, but I'm concerned about you, so please, can you come in? You can trust me. Really, do you want to help me? Now, I believe this game is made by Brazilians, so I'm assuming the name, his name is, uh, would be pronounced with a, a Portuguese sound, not... Because my first instinct was maybe, oh, make it sound like an H, kind of like Spanish. But then I'm like, oh, wait, this game's Portuguese. So you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to assume this is the correct pronunciation. Um, it would be something like a Jugo? Jugo? So just people who know the language better, you can correct me on that, because I, I don't know too much about the language. Yes. I'm Jugo, a doctor at the local hospital. I know your name, miss. I don't care if it's fake. Just a name. Yes. It's Misai. Mom? That's your mommy's name. Is that a piece of her diary? I, I think so. I can't understand why I was here. I like to read more, but there's nothing else here. Diary piece number two. Well, why don't we search for the rest? These are my these are precious memories from your mom. We need to find more. I really love to, but the rain is getting worse, and I'm feeling cold already. No problem. Let's go in. I'm sure we'll find the other pieces in the house. Really? Yes. If there's a room in this house where we can find treasures, it's gonna be... Your daddy's room, of course. Let's pick that lock. Yes. Wait, what? Well, we're, we're kind of advancing fast here, aren't we? We're already moving on to picking the lock of the dad. Coat. Here we are. Bosco, this is a really bad idea. I know you're as curious as me. Don't worry, we'll close it again. He'll never notice. But this is Daddy's room. If he finds out, he's gonna hate me. He's gonna be a mad father. Come on, it's just a room. He's not going to hate you for something so little. Are you telling me that you don't want to know a little more about your mommy? Yes, I want to know. Daddy never talks much about her. Sweet. I'm very happy about your choice. Especially because I've already finished with the door. Let's go. Bosco, wait. Why do you never listen to me? You're a baka. Baka. If Daddy gets mad, it's going to be your fault. Are you listening or what? I? What's that? Uh, B Bosco? Are you shedding a tear? Maybe it's a fear tear. Ah! Uh, what? It it's me in every picture. Man, this is creepy. It's not just the quantity. It's when they're taken. Look, it's when you're sleeping and after you're taking a bath. I'm pretty sure the quantity and the blood splatter kind of look is pretty creepy in itself. I'm pretty sure that that carries it. Stop, I don't want to see. I don't want to know. This is just a misunderstanding. I. It's dark. It's so dark. I'm sorry, Dad. I shouldn't have left my room. I was a bad kid. I, calm down. A lightning struck really close and the power went off. That's all. Don't be scared. Oh, Daddy's mad. Daddy's really mad. I snap out of it. We must... Uh-oh. No way. He's back. How? Hide. Huh? Hide now. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? The lights went out. Who came into my room? Maybe I've left it open. 
strange. I, dear, are you awake? Daddy's home. The storm is too strong, so I came back for you. I. I should tell him I'm fine, and then run. And maybe get a shotgun while I'm at it. Preferably in that order. Or maybe not. Don't move an inch and don't talk, whatever happens. She's not in her room. Did she... leave me? Why? I, my birdie, you flew away. You, you... bitch. Okay, you go. No need to panic. Maybe today I was careless. I haven't closed a few doors and she's sleepwalking around. Her meds can cause hallucinations, after all. The door for the garden is open too, but I'm sure she's still around. The house is big, but I'll find her. I wonder if she's under the bed. Oh god. And when I find her, I'll cut my cute birdie's wings to prevent any more escapes. <laughs> Don't worry, I. Daddy is coming for you. You can come out now. He's gone. Never mind, I don't leave. Let me just come back and check on some things. I, please answer me. Why? Why is this happening to me? The princess is such an unfortunate princess. So the princess started to hide the rat boy and listen to his amazing adventures. The two became inseparable and spent lots and lots of time together. I'll take you with me. He said one day out of the blue, with sparkling eyes full of determination. I'll go talk with the king. I'll convince him that you'll be safe outside with me. Pasco, wait. The king doesn't allow anyone to wander around the castle, said the princess. But the rat boy didn't listen. Strangely, she found him petrified in front of the room of the wise king. What happened? asked the princess, remaining unanswered. The door was slightly open, so the princess decided to peek in, worried. At that point... A scary vision of the wise king appeared in front of her eyes. His blue wings fell off, fake and useless, and the expression on the face became cruel. <laughs> I'm sure that my lovely princess has been talking to someone recently. Today, I found out who he is. I'll make her talk, or else I'll definitely cut her wings off. The pair hid right the moment before the king stormed inside the room. What do we do now? The king was so different. I don't know what to think. Said Princess Eye with white eyes. We need to investigate more about this. We'll discover what is happening here. If it's something dangerous, we'll escape. My lady, I swear that whatever happens, I'll protect you. Hardened by the words of the rat boy, the princess gathered her courage and started exploring the palace, searching for clues to resolve the mysteries surrounding the wise king. But even with Bosco with her, a thought wouldn't stop bothering her. Will I really be able to abandon the only life I know and leave? So, do you feel better now? Yes. Sorry to have worried you. It's fine. I understand. Well, there's only one thing to do. We need to leave this place and ask for help. He's probably already closed the door for the back garden. And if we break a window, he'll be on to us before we're able to leave. There's only one option. We need to find a key for the front door. Exactly. You must have a spare key somewhere. We'll quietly search around the house, trying to find where the key is hidden. Joke's on you, it's directly on him. But, what if it's all just a misunder- HA! Standing. I. I'm- I'm just trying to understand, okay? I'm not as brave and calm as you. Of course you are. You're much more strong than you think, I. Do you think we'll find some more Mom's diary pieces around while we're searching? Oh, that... maybe. We'll need to search carefully after all. Come on, we need to start moving. 
We can't stand still in the same place too long. It's dangerous. Yes. Locked. Spirit Dr. Coates. He sure has a lot of these. It's locked. Nothing. Syringes and needles. Never liked injections. Other pictures. I'm sick to watch them. Full clothes. Useless. Jugo's jacket. Teddy's doctor coat. He always leaves one here, so he's sure not to forget when he goes to work. Look at the pockets. Maybe there's something useful. But I don't want to steal from Daddy. He's gonna steal your life in a second. Useless. 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 Lockless. Useless. Empty. Filled with board games like my soul. A small tablet contains lots of lie-hard movies and cartoons like my brain. <laughs> Look at him go. Delicious fruits. If I eat something, Daddy will notice. The fridge is so big, etc., etc. Mr. Rat, have you seen another key somewhere? Because I'm looking for a key. Could you key me in on its location, Mr. Rat? Maybe we just gotta go back to the coat. Be like, no, search that damn thing. I will never progress if you don't look everywhere. We need keys. Ah, oh, fine, you're so persistent. Hey, look, a key. See, I was right. Yes, yeah, sorry. Where does the key go? Well, there was locked stuff in here, wasn't there? Normal key. Dang, he like locked the bathroom. A laundry basket. There's a little bump under the lining at the bottom. I need something to cut the lining. We could take a knife from the kitchen. They're not sharp at all. They're like the ones for a child. Uh, and then we'll need to find a good one. Normal sink. Rusty key. What is that? Key hut? Who does this? This is a shower. I've never used one. Of course, I don't have time now. Full complicated books. 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 Nothing useful. Books. Books. Looks like there's one particularly worn out. Maybe it's important. Let's open it at the bookmark. Specific drugs can cause strong side effects, especially when the prescription is required for kids or infants that are particularly susceptible. For example, the drugs addressed in the previous chapter can cause hallucinations and dizziness when a dose exceeds 25 milligrams once daily. If a drug is administered for 14 days or more, physical contradictions as weakness, anemia, nausea, and vomit will show as well. There's more highlighted. If more than 65 milligrams are administered at once, the subject will fall into a coma and consequently die from multiple organ failure. I don't like this book. Let's stop. Random stuff. Small coffer of combination lock. I need six digit code to open it. Nothing useful. That's a computer. I am a computer. Yeah, we saw it in that cartoon. Why don't you try that internet thing to ask for help? Ha! I don't know how the I don't know at all how to use it. 
All right, that's a shame. Nothing can be found on the internet. Tis a silly place. So we still need a knife. I've not found any more diary pages. Rubik's Cube? I'll never be able to solve that thing. I like to have a mouse or a hamster, but I can't tell Bosco. Man, you really gotta like check every damn little nick and corner. They're perfect for a nap on the sofa. I always hope to attend real classes in the future, but with my weak body, it's impossible. It's gonna be like a good knife somewhere. Maybe the code is in this book. Let's count the numbers. Two, five. One, four. Six, five. Two, five, one, four, six, five. Two, five, one, four, six, five. Two, five, one, four. Six of five. It's open. We found a sharp knife. He... He kept another one here. Keep it. It can be useful. Oh, okay. But just for a bit. There we are. You ripped open the fabric of the knife. You found a tarnish key. You found diary piece number triple? Where's number two? Look, Bosco, another diary piece. Read it fast. There's no place to hide in here. You're right. So... Good morning, Miss I. Did you have a good sleep? Of course, I've told you already. Your couch is really comfy, Jugo. You're not going to sleep on for long. I've ordered all the furniture for your room. You didn't need to. Oh, you're moving her right in real fast there, I see. Why not? It's been a while now. It's time for you to have your own room. After all, you're going to stay here for a bit more, right? I can't thank you enough. I'm a stranger. A half-foreigner and you're helping me so much. Of course, I want to help. You're a good girl. Speaking about the future, you told me that you can't show your face around the city, and you can't just find a job in another one, and leave without money, so... I had an idea. This house is big and empty, and you do all the chores while I'm at work. From now on, I'll pay you for it. Huh? You'll stay here until you have enough money to move away from the city. Is this good enough for you? Jugo. I have no words. Please don't cry. You're way prettier when you smile. You're so nice. The nicest person I've ever met. I... Can I... Tell you a secret? Of course. Is something bothering you? I... I... So I've told him my biggest secret. Maybe I'm too faithful. But I trust him. Hope I'm not wrong. A secret. She doesn't say what it is. Maybe we'll figure it out if we find more pieces. Yes. Hey, Bosco. Danny looks like a good person in Mommy's diary. I know what you're going to ask. Just remember that right now, that good person's looking for you with a knife. Forget it. Let's go. Now that new key... Okay, leads, leads to the miniature box room. Halloween decorations. The shelves are all empty. Like that certain YouTuber's soul. Strange. What do you mean? There's a lot of stuff around here. But nothing on these shelves. Maybe. Maybe it's just to hide something and we need to move it. Do you think we can do it? If we push of our might, yes. Okay, let's do it. Ready? Wow. Oh!
This is why he put safety bolting on shelves for kids. A grandfather clock. How did I not hear it for all this time? Maybe it's broken. Man's the clock. Fast, you need to... Uh-oh. Doomed! Hi, buddy. Daddy was so worried. Haven't you heard Daddy calling you the whole time? I'm heartbroken. But you need a punishment now. Just wait for me. Daddy's coming. It's not even death scene. It's just like, oh, you dead. So rule of thumb, everything in this room murders you. That box, murder. Christmas decorations? Oh, definitely murder. Look at all these crystal glasses. Careful. If you want to search around here, something breaks. Sure. Fast, you need to... So what did I say about everything in here being murder? What did I say? If anything, this just proves it's dangerous for a kid out there, man. The tables can, like, shelves can fall on you. Glassware, antiques. This world sucks. Pink painted key. Why is this key in this place like this? I think it's for a room that didn't, he didn't open for a long, maybe for a long time. Maybe we're close to finding something important. What's wrong, I? It's a knife. I don't think we'll need it anymore, so... You still want to throw it away. Got it. If you really feel so, I won't stop you. But I still think it'll be a good protection. If Jugo finds you, maybe you'll need to use it. I feel like... Okay, maybe leaving it here is the, uh... The bad one? Let's leave it for now because I made a save. I'm always sure. I don't want it. It's heavy and I have a bad vibe from it. Okay, hold on a sec. I'll hide in a cardboard box here so no one will find it for a while. Thank you. I feel better now. Or it could be the right one. Maybe we run back in here and like... It's in one of these boxes. Like, you grab it at the last minute and stab him. Make a secondary save... Okay. Ah oh, yes, the pink room. Empty. Empty. Nothing. Only a lonely bib lies beneath a lot of dust. Nothing inside. There's some paper in it. Number four, but where's number two? Why did it turn out this way? It was just all so perfect. Too much perfect. He's sick. Deep down, he's probably always was. He was run way before I was born. This entry is strange. It creeps me out. We did I. Have courage. There's your name on it. And you go, wait. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Oh, yeah. Oh? I was just checking on I. You told me she has nightmares lately, so... I've just checked on her. I've already told you that I don't need your help for this. There's no need for you to do so. Well, it was just a simple double check. An innocent mistake. Any problem with that? You. What's the matter, Miss I? You're acting weird. If you've got something to say, please feel free to say it. Yes, I have something to say. I want to talk about Ai's nightmares. She told me that while she's sleeping, there's a monster that comes in her room, in the dark. She can hear walking and breathing and then... And then? She doesn't really remember well. She only re remembers a strong sensation of anxiety and fear. This happens with frequent nightmares. If you'd like, I can give her something for her. Please. Oh. Please, she's just free. Oh. 
I see. You think I'm the monster. But Hugo, you know... I know you can have me any time. Don't worry. I'm not the monster you think. I'll never harm her. I love her. I'll leave her more than you. Anyway, thank you for the conversation. It was illuminating. I thought we were family. But now I have a grasp of what you really think about me. I feel a little bit hurt. Should I hurt you too to get even? What do you mean? Nothing. Just a joke. Well, it's bedtime for us adults, too. Sweet dreams, Miss I. This is a very weird family. I slept with Vine that night. I couldn't stop shaking. I need to leave this place. I is not safe anymore. I can't ask him the money he promised. But I think I'll be able to take something valuable from the house. I don't care what happens to me, but at least I need to save her. I love you, I. I will protect you at all costs. You're my life. My bluebird of happiness. So your mom calling you the bluebird of happiness, too? I'm sure Hugo just stole this nickname from her. What... what happened to mommy? I don't remember any of this. So maybe he's not actually the father. Maybe she had a kid already and ran away. You were too young. Of course you can't remember. So we know that Hugo now takes inappropriate pictures of you. But this diary entry reveals that everything started a long time ago. There's something darker behind all this. What the hell does he want from you? I'm so scared, Bosco. I don't know what to do. Daddy always protected me, and now... It's all a lie. I... It's... It's so difficult to breathe, I can't stand this anymore. Uh-oh. He's coming. <laughs> this is the end of the line, Bernie. It's time for your punishment. Daddy is very, very angry. You only give me three seconds! Okay. He'll never check in here. She opened even this door. I... It seems you have made almost a full tour of the house. I'm impressed. If you can hear me, just know... Daddy is sick of playing hide and seek. Soon we'll need to end this little game of yours. See you very soon. He's gone, for now. We don't have much more time left. Look, I found something in the closet. Stain key. It was under that dusty bib. I was lucky to step on with my foot. It's a key for the last room. I hope we'll find what we're looking for there. Empty. Empty. From the clothes and dresses from Messily in the Box, Moms. Empty. Lots of broken stuff. Probably room decorations and ornaments. So this was the mom's room. Empty, looking closely, there's a book almost hidden in the shadow under the bookcase. Hey, wait a second. You found the size diary. This is mommy's diary. There's some pages left in it. I think we found the final piece. No way. There's a combination. We'll never be able to open it. Maybe it's your birth date? Calm down, maybe there's a hint somewhere. Let me see if there's more under this bookcase. What? Have you found the code? No, something better I look. Front door key. This key's way different from the others. There's no doubt. Your Brom probably had the spare key once. And once she died, he didn't bother searching for it. We can leave. Mommy. I can't believe it. In the end, we'll be able to leave. Bosco? Sorry. I was calm until now, but now that we finally smell freedom, I'm fully emotional. Just give me a second, okay? Don't move too far without me. Yes, it's alright, don't worry. I'm happy, but what about Mommy's diary? I need to find a way to open it. So, I can smell an ending coming up here. Let's not get the final piece or something. Let's just try leaving. 
Hello, my birdie. It turns out if I just stood in the hallway, I could catch you. Because there's kind of nowhere else to go. Have you enjoyed your little treasure hunt? You finally made a whole house tour. How it was. Or how was it, rather? <laughs> Interesting. Funny. Scary. Or maybe... Illuminating. You've found all sorts of little secrets, haven't you? Help, Bosco! I don't think he's gonna help you now. Come on, I. It's time for your punishment. Game over. Leave me alone! Aha, I've made it to the front door. That's unexpected. Where did you find a key for the front door? Actually, never mind. Come here. Now! Why? Uh, why are you doing this? What do you want from me? Why, you ask? It's not so difficult to understand. I love you, my birdie. I just want to protect you. How? Poisoning me so I won't be able to leave the house? Fending me with a knife? And, and, killing my mommy? Yes. It's like that meme. Don't you understand? Thanks to me, you remain uncorrupted. The outside world corrupts souls and people. Adults are all rotten and kids follow an early age now. But you, you are perfect. Your very existence makes me happy. Seems to be a thing with all these mad fathers. They're all except of, like, obsessed with that doll-like purity. In some cases, literal. Without contact with the outside world. You remain as pure as an angel. Your mother did not understand me. And she tried to sneak out with you. <laughs> so I need to punish her hard. You do like the big tree- Oh god, the big tree in the garden, don't you? Human bodies are great nourishment for plants. Monster. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Say sorry to daddy. S -s sorry, daddy. Now that I know everything, what are you going to do with me? Unfortunately, I can't restore you. I'm sorry, Bertie. I need a replacement now. To daddy? I'm so scared I can't move. You've been a great daughter. I swear, I'll be nice to you until the next bluebird is ready. Farewell. Daddy? <coughs> Honey, are you still awake? Oh, you're still playing with that old stuffed mouse. Do you really like it so much? Yes, Daddy, it's so big and soft. I love it. Really? And do you love him more than me? No way, that's impossible. <laughs> Thank you. You know, your mommy loved this plushie as well. You remember me her- Oh, you remind me of her when she was young. Really? Do I look like her? Yes. The only difference is that she had bright blonde hair. Like an angel. Can I see her? Well, maybe tomorrow. I have a lot of pictures of her when she was young. Yay. Tomorrow I'll see mommy. Thanks, daddy. I love you. I love you too, my dear. You're my bluebird of happiness. Baden, the golden cage. Interesting how he co-opted that word really strongly.
Let's try to keep it a knife. Since I'm sure it's the right choice. Which it probably is. 100%. A 4 digit combination usually combinations about something important. Hmm. Is it possible that it is... The diary opened up. I-I did it! What? How? The combination. I felt about something important for mommy and I tried my birthday. Kinda figured. That's amazing. Come on, princess, read it. Yes, so... This is my 26th diary. Kibi one keeps me sane. It's my only moment of freedom. What has become like this? He seemed perfect. I escaped from my horrible family, but he wasn't. It was easy to convince me to leave without telling anyone. Running away in a far, far away place, but then he changed. He yells at me like my mother. He beats me like my father. Nothing has changed. And he always brings home more women. He tells that I'm gorgeous. But if he doesn't try something new sometimes, he'll start to get bored of me. So is this my life? My destiny? No, I can't believe it. I won't let him mess with my head anymore. I can't go to the police or they'll send me back to my parents. And that will be just a different hell. What can I do? Tomorrow it will rain. A heavy rain, it seems. He will leave for work and then I'll leave as well. I won't know for a while and the sea of umbrellas will hide me. I know there's a road through the woods going towards the mountains. It's a long walk, but if I continue never turning back, I'll be free. I'll find a way somehow I need to. My entire life has been filled with misfortune, but I won't be caged forever. I need to do it for me. For us. So this little life that's secretly growing in my belly will have an amazing life just full of happiness and love. Number one. Mommy, her big secret is me. She did everything from the start to protect me. You gave her the courage to try and change her life. You tr are truly amazing. A real bluebird of happiness. Tile drop! Now we have all the pieces. That man is not my dad, he's just a gatekeeper. I'm so mad, so, so mad. I... My head is spinning really bad. Keep yourself up. We're almost out, I... Bosco? Bosco, where are you? What happened while he passed out? Did he left to check for Jugo? Bosco! He never existed in the first place. Okay, let's do this song and dance again. Don't you? Aren't you upset? You've got furniture in your way. That's unexpected. What did you find a key for the front door? Actually, never mind. No. You're not my daddy. What? I've heard my mom's diary. All of it. You're nothing. Just a sick man that stole my mommy's life and ruined mine. You don't know what you're saying. You would love me. You... Stab. You will never control my life again. What you do is stab me? It's quiet. Was that grandfather clock always so loud? He's not moving anymore. Is he dead? Did I... kill him? I'm sorry, Mommy. I just wanted to protect myself, but in the end, I did a horrible, horrible thing. I'm not a good kid anymore. I don't deserve to be a bluebird of happiness. There's only one thing I can do. I need to fly away from here. There's a window behind the tapestry? Here. It's perfect. I'll be the fly away from here. I'm free, mommy. Maybe we'll be able to be together again now. <clears throat> Madden. Broken wings. Now let's try not stabbing. I hate you. 
You're not my dad, you'll never be. So the knife is a bad ending. Huh. Interesting. You can't escape from me. Heh. <laughs> a little, like, foreshadowing. Oh, yeah, cars don't come down here very often. Ah. Uh, it hurts. Bosco, you're here. I find never see you again. I'm here, princess. Congratulations, you left the castle. You did it. That's... That's your ship, the real one. Yes, the fastest of the sea. It's exactly as you imagined it, right? It's even better. It's amazing. I can't wait to sail on it. From now on, we'll see a lot of new places and we'll have tons of amazing adventures together. I really loved you, princess. But that's impossible. What? You can't sail with me. You need to go back. The truth is, I came here to say goodbye. But why? You told me we could be together forever. Aye, it's not easy for, easy for me. Liar. What might I do from now on if you leave me? I can't do anything alone, anything. That's not true. My strength is even yours. We are the same thing, after all. Huh? Deep down, you already know. I'm a figment of your imagination. You projected the strong part of you on me, creating a brave thief. But you were the brave one. You even picked that lock in your room. And you learned just with, that with a depiction that you saw in the novel once. You have great talent, princess. But, but... Even if it's true, why do you need to leave me? Do you know what happened when you ran away? Long story short, you're in a hospital now. You got run over by a car. You and... A Jugo. And he is... Don't worry, princess. He will never harm you again. He never woke up. Anyway, the doctors clean you blood off from all the drugs he gave you. You'll be healthy again, but in my regards. You felt so real because of the hallucinations the meds caused. When I wake up, I'll be just a memory. Why? The princess is not supposed to be separated from the adventure of Thief. You told me so. The princess is free now. She needs to spread her wings to see a lot of amazing stuff. And live all sorts of adventures. At the end, maybe they'll say goodbye. But no one says it's forever, right? Yes, this is indeed a good ending. Bosco. You really need to wake up now. Your new world awaits at the other side of this stream. Right behind that magic mirror. Please. Even if I'm not real. Can I just see your smile one more time, my lady? You're right. I want to say goodbye with a smile. It hurts a lot, but I want to remember you for all the happy time we passed together, so... Goodbye, Bosco. I love you. Love you too, I. Farewell, my princess. A fork in the road. Symbolic. <laughs>
Wow, she grew up to raise a more mom after all, huh? Wow, what an intense day. Who would ever imagine all these people for the presentation of a fairy tale book? Makes you want to go write the next story even harder. Here, it's all done. I think I'll be on my way soon. Is there like a promotional cosplayer down here? Be the author of The Bluebird Princess and the Rat Boy and the Tales of Bosco the Brave at the presentation of her third book, The Bluebird Princess at the Discovery of the World. My mom did this dress for me. Am I like the Bluebird Princess? Yes, you're incredibly cute. You're just the same. Yeah, I'll tell mommy, she'll be happy. Oh, it's you, dear. Thanks again for accepting the invitation to come to our bookstore. It was a pleasure. Please feel free to call me again. It was an amazing experience. You're so polite and mature. It's amazing that you're just 18. Hope to see you again soon. I'm sorry for the twins. They were practically intense. They were particularly intense at the meet and greet. Don't worry, they were funny. Your house must be very lively. Yeah, even too much sometimes. I need to try to keep them quiet. It's hard to be a big brother. I oh, miss, I forgot to ask. Will Bosco the Princess marry sooner or later? <sighs> We're not even sure if we know the men again. There's a little soon to be speculated now, don't you think? But they're so cute together. What kind of kids they'll have? They'll be quarter mice? Oh, I can't wait to know. They'll be in any ashes. Truly lively. I'll become an adventurer like Bosco! Oh, I see a lot of amazing places and live all sorts of adventures. I'll treasure your signature forever, miss. Thank you again. You're welcome. You're truly a talented girl. My grandson loves your stories. Thank you. <coughs> Ow. Are you alright? I'm extremely sorry. I was running and I didn't pay attention. I... I... No way. B bus? Go? Uh, did I hurt you so bad, miss? Should we go to the hospital? No, I'm sorry, I'm just spaced out. I'm fine, really. Ah, oh, that's a relief. Hey, but you're the author of those fairy tales books, miss. You can call me I. Being called miss from someone of the same age is strange. Well, my name is Pedro. It's a pleasure to meet you. Is something wrong? How can I say? I'll probably sound like I'm hitting on you, but I feel like we've known each other for a long time. Maybe it's just because you're famous. I saw you on the TV before. Actually, you remind me of someone that I knew. A dear friend from a long time ago. Really? That's very strange. Uh, it's really sudden, but can I offer you a cup of coffee or something? There's a really nice cafe just across the road, and I like to apologize properly for what happened before. I... I'd love to. Really? Great. Doesn't have rat ears and tail, though. It's kind of part of the appeal. True ending, and they live happily ever after. Or did they? No, they did. So that's it for the Bluebird of Happiness. Uh, this specifically is a remake of a older RPG Maker game that came out in 2015 or so. I did not play the original, and I don't know too much about I just know that um, this one is supposed to be a little more whimsical. The, the previous one was a little more... I think the previous one was supposed to be a little more horrific. So they, they toned it down a little. Or a lot. I don't really know. <laughs> so, it's alright. Uh, it, it's got the, the standard, I'm gonna say it's, it's got the standard format of You've got someone in a situation It's secretly very bad, they don't know it They found out the truth Then there's confrontation, and then Your parent turns out to be a dick <laughs> So, solid enough in that format If I were to say anything It probably needed some sound effects And I mean that in the sense of like when the, when the father gets a game over, when you get a game over the father, aside from the one bad ending, I, I feel like you don't really... It, it's somehow unvisceral, it's just the game over screen pops up real fast. 
Something similar, just like like a splat noise or a stabbing noise, something or a scream, something. It needs some kind of like visceral effect. I feel like it kind of stuck out to me more than some other things. And it's, it's a little funny spot because it's I guess it's on purpose. The art is cute, and then the the story is very horrific. So I was in a bit of a my mood, so it was kind of jumping between two different things a little bit while I was playing it. So it was a bit like, hmm. But anyway, so thank you all for watching me play the Bluebird of Happiness. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.